Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this bonus video, I've been scouring the internet to find you, to be honest, an absolute abundance, but they are so, so good. Set of images for what's been going on at the Transformers 40th Anniversary Expo over the weekend. Obviously, I did promise to try and keep you up to date with it. Obviously, my Saturday and my weekend ended up getting a bit busy with something else, so I've fallen completely behind with keeping you guys up to date. So apologies for that. However, what I've done is I've spent most of the morning, as I say, scouring websites to find you just loads of photos. This looks interesting incredible now lots of these things we've seen before uh, lots of these things we probably have there's a few which we haven't but what's more important is just seeing just the amazing set of toys and their displays etc now obviously you might get a glare with this so what i would advise if you want to see these like the glare most of these images are from tfw 2005 they've got a giant section as well what i'm going to do is break this down into sections for you um, as well so they are calling it our origin which is of course where they originated the transformers did originate in japan now very quickly going to gloss over this because we've seen rc now i think the most exciting thing about this is a she exists and b it looks like she's going to be released um, as a missing link figure so they're just going to jump straight past the retro into a missing link that looks what to see what the translation card says there of course is the crazy bump of chicken optimus prime which i think just looks amazing um, and that was some of the newest stuff here's some of the old ones so what of course because it's takara tomi they've got cabinets about five or six of them with literally every single masterpiece figure they've ever made and just to see them all together it's just it's also it's a bit of um, a heart wrencher for me because i've just literally started to sell the remainder of my masterpiece collection however looking at these it's like a punch in the gut because most of them i've now sold um, and seeing these all together they just look so spectacular so you've got all the versions you've got all the numbers all the letters all the different ones as i say where you've got the special editions the comic but you know the cartoon accurate colors rodimus uchronus etc the different convoys the different color schemes for the side swipe model they do look great and i suppose i can now appreciate looking at them um, in this particular way rather than having them on my shelves as well the only thing with these is don't get me wrong they're, span they're spectacular figures but they just and the main reason for me having to sell mine is just they just take up too much space but seeing these all together like this um it, for the first time to be honest i think they've literally as i say i don't know i'm sure there's a few collectors out there who've been able to do this themselves um but this is as i say obviously with it being takara tomi they have got every single one of their masterpiece line which of course is one to 60 with various other numbers and letters depending on the colors depending on the animation accuracy depending on what's coming with them uh, depending if they're coronation editions depending if they're the third version of the seeker or the third version of optimus etc just as i say it's so great to see these all in one area all in one um i suppose display cabinet and this is just a small section guys i've got g1 toys to show you um, i've got new figures to show you a couple of movie bots loads of paraphernalia artwork design sketches um again i had a fantastic weekend i'm not going to moan about that in any way shape or form um but this would again anybody who's been lucky enough to go to this please do let me know in the comments and let me know exactly what it was like what you were seeing because i'm sure that this was absolutely spectacular there we go up to mp60 which is of course jinrai and then as i said he's just a few selections of a few of the bookcases which they had uh, not bookcases display cases sorry of all the figures now very quickly moving on to mpg which is of course the new line which they have they started, was it a year and a bit ago, with the train bots, etc. This is obviously the new masterpiece line. I have no idea why they've decided to end this, the current masterpiece and change everything to MPG. But of course, the newer ones we're going to see in a second. Super Jinrai, God Bomber, etc. Looking stunning. Yes, I've got them on pre-order. I'm going to do a quick video on Super Jinrai and an explanation of the Jinrai. What's the differences, you know, between Jinrai and Power Master Optimus Prime, etc. There's your Diaclone Colour Train bots. There's the original train bots masterpiece, and there's your combined forms of Raiden. There we go, Raiden's there, and then of course the new one, the diaclone colours of your train bots or train robo. So they look spectacular. There's huge statues of figures all around. This I need to send separately to Lee. Um, this is just literally a sound wave case. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. So there's loads there. There's loads there. There's all the other paraphernalia, like the actual playing cassette deck. 
I like the costumes, etc. And then we move on, of course, to some Generation 1 figures. Now, what's surprising at the moment is the only images I've been able to find are from like 1984 to about 1987. I haven't, you would think that they would have all the Takara stuff on display. Now, whether or not the images just aren't out yet or whether they're going to be doing things in different stages, because this isn't just happening over the weekend. It is a long, I think it's a couple of weeks, to be fair. This event looks amazing. And I think maybe that's what they're going to do. Like most, you know, ex expos, they change the cases, they change the cabinets. Um, I'm just going to, as I say, just show you the rest of these. But I'm really surprised there's no diatlases, etc. There's artwork for them I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, so yeah, here you go, Takara versions, I love the way they've got the cone heads with the cone head up, they've got some Takara packaging, there's the, of course the original white Astro Train, I've got a video of him on this channel as well, um, again just, I love looking at toys, I love looking at G1, I love looking at how they've displayed them etc, see there you go guys, anybody who's just watched Transformers 1, if you see there the 16 in the top corner for Megatron's box, for those of you who weren't aware, uh, D16 was exactly what Megatron was in Japan. D was stood for Destron, which was their word for Decepticon. 16 was his box number, so that's a huge and amazing little Easter egg on that as well. Right, then we've got, of course, some of the original Autobots as well. And there, of course, Convoy and Destron Megatron there, Dinobots, Omega Supreme. As I say, we've got mainly got 84, 85, and then they do move on to some 86 um, and some combiners. I was really surprised uh, to not see um, at the moment, like I just said, where's the Takara exclusives? I presume that they're going to be bringing them out um, in the following weekend. There's the movie bots. There's your 86. Uh, again, great. Look at this. And then they, they move on to, they're completely a bit like me. You'll see in a second where they move on to different variants and different packaging, etc. Uh, which we'll come to in a second. As I say, I've managed to segment up this video, put them all into sort of correct orders. They're the latest sort of figures I've found photos on. And of course, they're European exclusive. So they at the moment seem to be sticking out like a sore thumb um, just because they haven't got anything else. There's some boxed. In fact, funnily enough, I've got, yeah, all of them, all of them boxes, Takara boxes as well. And they just look so, so good with the little boxes, with the polystyrene inserts. Um, now, for those of you who are unaware, there's a book out, they call it Generations, which of course is the toy line as well. Um, and I've done a few videos on a few of them books, and they've got huge pages of these by the, by the looks of it, just dotted all around the expo, which gives you an idea on them. Now, this is what I was talking about. They go on to, I suppose, obscurity. So you've got some Antex um, and some Estrella figures there, mainly Antex, different colored minibots. Again, I've got videos on all of them on this particular channel. And I love the fact that they are, as I say, moving on. And then, of course, to my other favorite toy line. That, of course, is your e-hobby cabinets. But what's really interesting in there, guys, is the one that's, well, there's two that's evading me. One is Black um, Hot Rod or Black Rodimus. And then the other one, of course, is Fire Guts Jinrai. They don't seem to actually have them um, on display either at the moment. And as you can see there, where a lot of these figures now have took in fact they've appeared as i say into fruition there's crosscut there's hauler um and if i come back across you know you've got detritus you've got red tracks there's detritus and everybody down there so it's really good uh to see these and to see i suppose their origins uh where they come from because funny enough i put the video for overcharge up there's detritus there with the gobots and the amount of comments have been like they, you know, it's just made after an obscure e-hobby figure, which of course that's not the case. It was, of course, like most of the e-hobby figures are, they were redecos. Um, basically, I suppose, what's the word? Showing off the Diaclone colors before, showing what was before Transformers. There is, of course, some new stuff as well. It is a full 40 year anniversary expo. So they've got some full statues of the Transformers 1 figures. I can't believe I've got to wait until the 20th of October to watch that film. I'm so upset because everybody's going to have watched it. So they've got some mainline figures here, some of the one-step changes, some of the Optimus Primes you're about to see in a second. They've got flip changes, studio series figures, um, mainline figures, and of course you've got your huge Optimus Prime there at the bottom as well, which we can see in a bit more detail there as well. So last few images of some of the new figures, then we go back to some old stuff. Uh, as I say, it took me ages to put all these in some sort of order. Now we've got some sketches and some design ideas. There's Buster and Hydra, of course. Oh, there's the camera going. It's about to fall off. Uh, there we've got uh, Diatlas and Roadfire. And there, of course, is Big Powered all together. Desarus, uh, Victory Leo. That also, I think, is Grandus. Not too sure. Leo Kaiser. And again, I think Grandus. 
Um, and again, just an abundance of sketches on the walls, design ideas, moving up into Armada, etc. as well. More pages of the Generations books, just, I would lose myself there. That, by the way, is a huge, that's actual real people below that, huge, huge statue um, of, of course, Megatron when he was frozen in the ice in the first movie. I would, I would, I'd be in there for hours. It'd take, they'd have to kick me out. I'd just be taking so many pictures and so involved. There, of course, is the Haslab Unicron, and I suppose the process has gone into the transformation for that, along with all the other decos of Unicron that are out um, and available to buy. Looks like they've got a whole Unicron section, to be honest. There again is the Megatron with the eyes lighting up, looking spectacular. Few movie figures now. This seems to be centering on the dark of the moon toy line so lots of people will recognize this there's the human alliance sound wave there was q just at the top again beautiful dual displays more pages from the generations magazine they look to be on huge screens this is really interesting as well so this moves on to generation one paraphernalia memorabilia loads of things uh, just and do you know what's i suppose really i'm really pleased with seeing through this it's reminding me of how much of this i've actually got myself so i think i need to dig it all out and do some videos on them, not just toys, on the merchandise. They're obviously figures, beautiful ones. They're, of course, some of the junior figures, which I've got of them as well, need to do videos on. But you'll see in a second, um, more artwork. And what I was referring to is like all the paraphernalia. Oh, looks like it's coming in a second. Age of Extinction figures now. Again, very briefly, whip through that. Um, just because there's, there's so much to show you in this particular video. Um, again, completely everything. Happy Meal toys, McDonald's toys, small figures, boxed figures, um, full displays. And then I say, I was talking about the paraphernalia, the books, the comics and everything, which I think is going to come up um, now just to show you. Is it? Am I getting mixed up? We still look to be on new figures um, and new things. Yeah, there's still more sketches, still more things to share with you. I've talked about 200 screenshots and there's so much more. Here we go. Here we go. Magazines, Japanese magazines, Japanese books uh, or mucks as they call them. If you wonder why they call them mucks. In fact, funnily enough, I helped that toy guy in Canada not so long ago. He's searching for like this sort of paraphernalia. So if you're looking on Amazon Japan, if you're looking in Joust, if you're looking on any Japanese auction site and you want to find this sort of stuff, you need to be using the word MUK. M -O -O -K, M-O-O-K, It is a basically abbreviated magazine and book into one word. And that's how they sell them. That's what they're listed as. So if you want to find any of these, Transformers MOOC is what you need to be searching for. So here you go. More beautiful artwork from Master Force. Um, here's some of the comics. Um, here's some more paraphernalia, collector's cards, collect, um, all this sort of stuff. Um, as I say, US comics, um, US comics framed. Uh, there's some UK comics coming up in a second. There's some of the last ones. That's the last one, the final cut. There's the last issue there. Here's some of the Japanese stuff. There's the Generations books I was just on about, all in different variations. Look, it's just, and I think the best thing, and I think hopefully you'll maybe agree with me on this, they just look so good on display. That's the leaflets and pamphlets. Again, I've done videos on all of these, the Japanese ones, in a playlist on this channel. So if you want to see all the Japanese figures in their original uh, pamphlets, collectors, uh, posters, etc. There's the decoys. Again, there's videos of that on this particular channel. More collector's things. What you can see there, the Master Force bracelets. Um, I should have brought them when I had the chance to. They've now gone insane prices. There again are all the checklists and the catalogues that used to come with the Japanese toys. And this is what I was on about earlier, but for some reason I thought it was closer to the beginning of the video than what it is. The Telltale books, the little stories, everything that goes involved with, I suppose, all of the British uh, storytelling and books. Moving, we're nearly at the end, guys. We're nearly at the end. We're coming to some more recent figures. So we've got Titan figures here mixed in with three of the big Generation 1 and Brave originals. So there's some of the current Titans. There's some of the original Titans. And indeed with an original Brave Max, Grand Max and Fort Max mixed in there as well. This, of course, now is the new statue that's looking to be coming out very soon. There's details of that. Um, this looks amazing. This is a full diorama of some War for Cybertron figures. Um, all Autobot side, there you go, including some of the Dinobots with and against some of the Decepticons. So a complete mixture of toy lines. Anything, I suppose, what would be classed as generations. And I think the main reason for that is in Japan, although the studio series and although there's generations in Japan, they don't really sort of recognise that. They just release them as Takara Legends or TL or 
things like that. So they just release them all in, I suppose, in numerical order. So you do get a mixture of Studio Series and Generations. And they all just look really, really good together on that diorama. More, more images in huge screens of the current figures, which is now leading us definitely up to the last few images because we go through the cycles to the newer figures where eventually we're going to end up, which you can see now, with the new masterpieces and indeed coming onto the missing links. We've already seen this particular image of one cabinet, but on the shelf above it, there are your missing link convoys with your missing link bumblebee and cliff jumper figures and of course the upcoming missing link link sunstreaker and there of course is a huge optimus prime uh, bust there on display as well so there you go guys an abundance of images i would advise you if you don't see it with the glare to head to tfw 2005 but just it looks so amazing i love seeing all the things you know together magazines books etc they just look spe spectacular together and i just wanted to share them images with yourself so yeah apologies i'm behind with everything because of the weekend i will catch up as much as i can um, and as always guys huge thanks for the support take care